frozen. Whoa. Kerwin Danley staggered by that fastball, and he goes down to a knee. That one got away from Real Muto, and Danley right now staggered. Mike Kozak, one of the Marlin trainers, is out to look at Danley. Obviously, he's got the helmet with the mask. Watch the top. Oof. Top of the helmet is where it got him. It did not touch Real Muto's glove. So that was coming in and coming in hot. That, that's, that's a very unfortunate thing because as an umpire, that's especially where you're vulnerable because most umpires set up on the inside part of the plate. And you're trusting that catcher to at least get a glove on that ball. And as a catcher, you have to because you don't want that umpire to start flinching in there. You don't want him to not feel comfortable or not feel like he's protected so he can stand in there and make that call. Uh, I don't know if there was a cross up right there, but when you don't get a glove on a fastball, something bad is really happening. You just really hope that Kerwin's okay and that he can shake it off uh, and it's not a, you know, not, not anything serious because that's. That's 98 miles an hour. That wasn't a foul tip. That was straight from the pitcher's hand to the crown of his head. Now the decision has to be made as to whether Kerwin Danley can continue. If he cannot, one of the umpires, not Joe West who worked last night, but one of the other two, Andy Fletcher or Mark Rippinger, will have to dash into the umpire room. And it's usually about a 10 to 15 minute delay because you've got to put on the protective gear from the shin pads that go under the pants the chest protector which is under the shirt Mike Kozak Marlins trainer Joe West who is the crew chief checking with Dan Lee. And so Dan Lee. <laughs> Some apologies for Real Muto and Upton making sure he's okay as well. That's great to see Dan Lee okay. He'll continue an overhead look. Yikes.